I work for Boston Scientific in two separate divisions, corporate research and corporate venture, where for both of them we're focusing on areas that Boston Scientific is, is close to working in but not yet ready to, either because we're not in that field yet or because the projects are too early for current engagement with Boston Scientific main divisions. And my role is working for VPs of corporate research and corporate venture to ensure that we find meaningful, meaningful innovation in a variety of different areas from across the world, from external sources, and that we bring them back to base. When an entrepreneur comes and suggests some interesting technologies to us, or interesting products as the case may be, the first question we're asking is, can this be meaningful for the whole of the healthcare ecosystem? Which means to us, can this be valuable for the patient, of course, but the physician and the hospital system, as well as the insurance, need to understand the value of a system like this, because otherwise we may like it very much, we may think it's highly innovative, but we won't actually be able to get it to the market. And that's the goal of all of us, to get good quality products to the market and to help the system. So that's question number one. Question number two becomes one of the spirit of the individual, whether this is somebody whom we feel that we can collaborate with, because in many cases we're talking about a longer term collaboration and to us it's important that we have a, a comfort level with the people we're dealing with, potentially with the investors, etc. Regarding technology trends, there always is amazing technology that comes out in every area that you're not expecting and you go, wow, that's just amazing, that's crazy, and that's just super, we have to get involved with things like that. From a trends perspective though, I think the majority of trends we're going to be seeing in the coming years are going to be trends in the field of um, data, data connectivity, uh, as well as the, the concept of smart systems. Data would mean the ability to be able to measure better personalized data as well as overall population data in a more effective manner based on better collection of data by various states, hospitals as the case may be. Uh, then when it comes to the issue of connectivity, that's a key element for us. We're involved with that particular process, but there's much more that needs to be done beyond our capabilities, which will be occurring generally, which will allow the, the healthcare trends to advance as they should, and that'll help us as well as helping the healthcare system to be more meaningful. And the third thing I think would probably be when it comes to the issue of how to deliver something like this in the form of devices of one form or another, which are going to become far more ubiquitous, whether it's uh, something which is an implantable, a wearable, some other sort of detection system, but that's going to allow both more data to be collected and to be, uh, allow the patient to benefit from it in a greater way. That's a question which often occurs, and when I go home and I, I, my wife asks me, how was it? I tend to say to her, well, I'll let you know in about a year or two years, because the nature of the flow of information and the contacts we make at wonderful events like this is basically a function of the follow-up that occurs afterwards, both with the companies as well as with the wonderful networking we do here in Europe, which is so essential for getting to, he to, to meet up with the right people in order to lead to the right connections, which could be a contact to collaborate with. It could be after that some sort of collaboration that we do at a university level. There's so many different levels of work, but the chances of meeting good people and a lot of good people and not coming out with something good are rather low. <laughs>